Hi everyone, it's Naomi Kanaga from Encouragement from the Word of God. Today we are going to look into Luke chapter 1. Um, on Fridays, um, <clears throat> every Friday at uh, 6 p.m., I started a, a Bible study group, a, a small group with the TLC, the Lakeside Church. And uh, anyone is welcome on Friday uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, I can send you the Zoom link if you are interested, let me know. And we started uh, with the chapter of Luke. Luke uh, book of Luke chapter 1 and um, so I thought every Sunday now that I'm doing the Bible study I will do every Sunday uh, the chapter that we did in Luke so that whoever missed it can listen to it as well and also for everyone who will be encouraged because the Word of God is so powerful and it encourages us and Luke chapter 1 is um, really um, the story of uh, Zechariah and um, there is two people that we are going to look into two characters and the first one we're going to look into is Zachariah Zachariah was a priest and Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth have been waiting for a child for a long time and they've been going to God and seeking and asking God for prayers asking God in prayer for a child and for a long time till their old age they didn't have a child but one day when it was Zachariah's turn to go to the church, the temple that time and offer offerings to God and um, the angel Gabriel appeared to Zachariah. So we're going to read it uh, from Luke chapter 1 uh, verse 4. It says, um, okay verse 5, Luke chapter 1 verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and audiences of the Lord, blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that when he was serving as a priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of the people was praying outside at the on hour of the incense. The angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of the incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard. And your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name and call his name John, and you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. He will also be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb, and he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in, in spirit and in power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So the angel Gabriel came to Zechariah when he went to the temple to offer incense. <clears throat> and Elizabeth and Zechariah has been praying for a long time and it says Elizabeth is from Aaron's um, generation. And they've been praying for a child for so long and they didn't have a child. And Angel Gabriel came and appeared before Zacharias and Zacharias was so afraid. And um, Angel Gabriel said, don't be afraid. I bring good news to you. You're going to have a son and that son's name is going to be John and he's going to prepare the way for Christ. So at that moment, Zachariah he was fearful and he said, how can this be? Let's um, hear his reply. And Zacharias said to the angel, how, can, how shall I know this? For I am an old man and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I'm Gabriel who stands in the presence of God and was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. But behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day that these things take place because you did not believe my words which will be fulfilled in their own time. So 
the angel <clears throat> of Gabriel came and told Zachariah that he's going to have a son and his son's name is going to have uh, be John but Zechariah was afraid and also he was doubting and he said how can this be I am me and my wife Elizabeth we are in the old age how can this be for just for doubting the angel said you won't be able to speak till this comes to pass till the baby is born you won't be able to be speaking you won't be able to speak and uh, if you know the story, um, after that, John um, the Baptist, uh, John is born to the world, Elizabeth conceives, and John is born to the world. And when John is born, they get the father and mother to come and give a name. And Zechariah doesn't have a speech because he's been dumb from the time he came out of the temple because he dis dis disobeyed or disbelieved the angel or the word of the Lord. And then... Um, Elizabeth said it's supposed it's the name should be John and uh, they said oh John nobody in, in our generation is John <clears throat> and then they are Zechariah and Zechariah gets up a, um, a, a board and writes a name John on it <clears throat> and as soon as he writes the name John his speech is come back and he's able to speak and um, we're going to see in this a similar situation in the same chapter. So to be coincident, same chapter, we can see Mary, uh, the mother of Jesus, Mary, the angel of Gabriel, the same angel came to Mary. And Mary accepted news so differently than Zechariah did. So we see um, the virgin bethorden to the man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. Luke chapter 1 verse 27 and 28 says and having come in an angel said to her rejoice highly favored one the Lord is with you blessed are you among women but when she saw him she was troubled at her saying at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was then the angel said to her do not be afraid Mary for you have found favor with God and behold, you will conceive in the womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great. He will be called the son of the highest, son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son at her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who is called barren. For with God nothing is impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. <clears throat> so Mary, when the angel said to Mary the news, Mary accepted it. And Mary said, let it be unto me as you have told me. First he questioned, first she questioned too. And said, how can it be? I'm not still married. <clears throat> how can I have this baby? Then the angel said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. This will be a virgin birth. And the angel said, "Is nothing will be impossible to God. So these two people that we see in Luke chapter 1, Zacharias and Mary, both of them were approached by an angel and both of them got good news. But both of them received it differently. More Mary received it with humbleness. Mary received with acceptance. Mary knew that her life is going to be completely changed. It's going to be so different. People will ridicule her because she's going to have a baby without being married to Joseph. But she accepted it. But Zechariah, he, he was doubting and he said, How can it be my, my wife and, and I, we are very old of age. How can we have a child? And uh, so today we can learn a lesson from this Luke chapter 1. When God appears to us, when God tells us, He speaks to us through His Word. And the Word of God is always His Word to us. And He tells us, Naomi, do not be afraid. I will be with you. I will guide you. I will lead you. I will heal you. I will heal your children. I will give you long life. I will satisfy with you with good things. When He says that, do we believe Him on His Word? 
Do we believe on the word of God or do we doubt? Do we, if we doubt, the plan will come to pass, but it will delay. The time will be delayed. Like Zechariah, he couldn't speak. He couldn't enjoy the, the excitement time of his, his wife being pregnant and having his first child. So sometimes God wants to speak to us from this chapter, Luke chapter 1, and tells us that do not doubt his word accept his plan accept his word upon your life and he has great plans and purpose for us both the stories end with a very happy ending both the stories both of them have children john and um, elizabeth and uh, zachariah has john baby john and mary and joseph have baby jesus but the way they experience it it was totally different so you can, you and I, we have so much word from God acknowledging us, uh, encouraging us, telling us do not be afraid. He is with us. So how are we going to face our life? Are we going to face our life with faith in the word of God and accept his plan in our life? Or are we going to doubt and suffer through that time till the plan comes to pass? So maybe this, during this COVID time, God's plan and God is saying to us, do not be afraid, I will provide all your needs. If you are lacking a job, I will provide for you. If you are feeling sick, I will heal you. If you are needing help, I will help you. You don't have to be afraid, I'm with you. Are we going to accept his word as it is? I am going to accept his word as it is. I'm going to tell like Mary and say, Father, be it unto me according to your will, according to your purposes. Let it be to me because I want to be according to your plan. I want to be in your will. I want to walk in the righteous ways. Lord, lead me. I don't want to be like Zachariah and lose that time of enjoyment with, with my wife, with my family. I don't want to be dumb. I, I don't want to lose something. God, I want to be like Mary and accept what God has planned for us. So I hope that it will encourage you. And as we read Luke, chapter, Luke uh, the book of Luke with our, with our Bible study group, I will share on every Sunday the chapter that we do so that it will encourage anyone who's listening as well. I hope you were blessed today. Let's pray together. Father, we come to you. This is your day. This is your day, Lord. This is your Sabbath. And we come to honor you. We come to praise you. We want to love you. We want to worship you. We want to praise you for who you are. For not what we are going through. Not what we are, Lord. But for who you are. Because you never change. Our life change. Our world change. Our situations change. But you never change. You are the almighty God. And as you said in Luke chapter 1. Is there anything impossible for God? Nothing, Lord. Nothing is impossible to you. Nothing is impossible for you. You can heal us. You can provide for us. You can lead us. You can guide us. You can be our God. You can be our Savior. Lord, I pray for anyone who doesn't know you. I pray that they'll open their hearts and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive my sins and be my Lord and my Savior. He will be faithful. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy. And we want to worship you, adore you, and give you the highest place today. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you were blessed today. Just want to sing one song. It's called Holy is the Lord. It's a beautiful song. Please sing with me. We stand and lift up our hands. For the joy of the Lord is our strength, my strength. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. We stand and lift up our hands. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord, God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. 
we stand and lift up our hands for the joy of the Lord is our strength. My strength, we bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He! It's rising up all around, it's the anthem of the Lord's renown. It's rising up all around, it's the anthem of the Lord's renown. Together we sing, everyone sing, holy is the Lord God. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. The earth is filled with His glory. Amen. God is faithful. I hope you have a beautiful Sunday with your family. I just want to show you. Yesterday we did this uh, stainless. Stain, stained glass uh, paintings and this was Daniel's I hang it here and he did one with a heart and this is my one and I did one saying child of God I know the words are not that apparent um, but uh, that's what I did and it's stainless glass painting that Christine showed yesterday if you are interested please join our TLC arts page um, it's um, on YouTube if you type TLC arts and skills and you will be able to find and every Saturday we do art class and it's so amazing they come up with so much creative ideas our teachers are so talented and they impart some talent in us and we can find our hidden talents and something that we might be good at God is so faithful he is so good at every Everyone has been given a talent so find your talent every one of us have a talent so let maybe it's a rusty talent but God will help you even maybe um, when I want to um, do something for God it my talents were rusty and it didn't look beautiful but when we keep on worshiping God when we keep on using our talents whatever is rusty he takes it apart and he cleans it and he makes it shine so nothing is impossible to God so remember Luke chapter 1 when he where he God says where the angel of the Lord says to Mary nothing is impossible to God so whatever you're going through remember nothing nothing is impossible to God God bless you have a beautiful Sunday worship God and enjoy God bless you bye